What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. Today's a good one. It is going to be a what I eat in a day. These are my favourite videos to make. They're also your favourite to watch. So I'm excited. It's going to be good. So I'm literally just going to chat you through what I'm eating. Take you with me for the day. Show you what I'm eating. What's going down. And also I want to chat a little bit about macros. Where my head's at with that. What I'm currently eating. And all that stuff because I know you guys ask that a lot. So it's going to be a good video. I've just got back from walking toves. It's about nine-ish, I want to say. So we're both hungry and want our breakfast. So let's make some food. <laughs> Okay, so for breakfast, I am gonna make a healthy fry up. I have been obsessed with this breakfast. I've had it the last three mornings, not gonna lie there but it is really, really yummy. It's packed full of protein. It is so, so great. And it's just like a healthier, high protein twist on such a breakfast classic. So let me show you the ingredients. So I'm gonna be making some scrambled egg with some eggs and some almond milk in there. I've also got some turkey bacon, which is obviously super high in protein. I'm gonna have some wholemeal bread, a slice of this guy. I'm gonna have an avocado, which I'm gonna just chop and mash up. And then I'm also gonna chop up some tomatoes to have on the side. So kind of like a healthy fry up situation. That's what's about to go down. It is around 11.30, which means it is snack time. I have really been trying recently to just incorporate more whole foods into my diet. I know I mentioned a couple of videos ago that I felt like towards the end of last year, I got myself into a real rut where I would just grab whatever was quick, whatever was easy, and it wasn't always the best things to be grabbing. So I've really been on a mission to try and just make more of an effort to cook and prepare more foods, pack more veggies, pack more fruit in, pack just more whole nutrient dense foods in. And I've really been feeling a difference in terms of how full I've been feeling and how fueled I've been feeling in my workouts. So I am so keen to keep going and just to keep making more little changes as I go. In terms of tracking, I am kind of loosely tracking, but using it very much as I always have as a tool. But I feel like recently I've been using it less and less if I'm honest. I definitely have at least two days a week where I don't track and on the days where I am kind of loosely tracking I take it so flexibly. I'm mainly just wanting to make sure that I'm getting enough protein in so I'm still aiming for around one gram of protein per gram per gram per pound of body weight so that's around 145 grams of protein for me and in terms of carbs and fat I'm roughly just letting them fall wherever they want to fall, which I think is a really good approach to have if you wanna be super flexible and just aiming for like a rough total calorie goal, which is somewhere around 2,200-ish, which is kind of around maintenance. Some days I'm a little bit higher than that, some days I'm a little bit lower than that. I'm just trying to listen a little bit more to how much I want to eat that day because I do feel like some days I'm naturally hungrier and some days I'm not and just kind of flexibly going with it and over the course of a week it gradually like levels out somewhere around there but yeah that is what is currently happening if anything 
changes with that i will keep you guys updated but yeah i am gonna go and make myself a snack i'm feeling like something savory which is not me if you've watched any of my other what i eat in a days you'll know that i literally have the sweet tooth of a six-year-old so for me to be wanting something savory I don't know what's going on with that, but I'm gonna make a savory-ish snack, get up here, crack on with some more work, and I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. Okay, so for this morning snack, I am gonna have some of this hummus. It is actually homemade hummus. My mum made it and it literally tastes incredible. So I'm gonna have some of this. I'm gonna have some carrots. I'm gonna chop them up into some little carrot sticks. And I've also got a wholemeal pita, which I'm gonna toast and again, just kind of slice up. So I've got some little bits to be dipping into my hummus. Close your eyes Get some rest I'm by your side Lay your head on my chest I know you've had Okay, lunchtime is about to go down. It is about two-ish, so it's actually a little bit later, but it is about two o'clock. We're gonna make some lunch. I'm actually gonna do a little bit of ingredient prepping because I haven't got much in the fridge and I want to just prep a few things that are in there ready to throw together as meals over the next day or two because I've got a really busy day tomorrow and also Thursday. So I just wanna make sure that I've got things like there ready to make stuff if I need it. I don't really meal prep, but I do find that ingredient prepping helps. So having like some carb sources and protein sources ready, prepped, cooked in Tupperware that then you can throw together as a meal as and when you want it is really good. So this is what I'm gonna make. I've got this big pack of chunky mixed vegetables that I'm gonna roast in the oven. So I've got some veggies and I've also got some veggies on standby cooked ready in the fridge. I'm gonna do a few sweet potatoes probably as either chips or wedges. And again, I will probably have at least one of these, maybe a little bit more for lunch, but then save the rest in the fridge so it is ready cooked for when I need it. And then finally, I'm gonna roast some chicken breast in this peri peri nando sauce which is literally just absolute life so i'm gonna roast that so again there's just some ready cooked protein ready in the fridge for when i need it Okay, I'm ready to head out to the gym. I don't know why I put you down here. I have got a little snack for the car slash the way back because I always get hungry and then it's gonna be a while until dinner. So I've got a banana to kind of snack on and just a protein bar to keep me going. So these guys are gonna be like my pre-workout snack, although I might save a bit of it for post-workout because I get hungry on the way home. But yeah, I'm gonna do that, gonna train. I've got a big session today, I've got squats to do, so I'm not looking forward to that. Snack, train, a little more of a snack, and then back and it will be dinner time. I tend to eat pretty late on a Tuesday because we always go to the gym late in the evening, so it's gonna be a late one, but I'll show you when I get back. Okay, back from the gym, about to make some food. I've actually got a stir fry this evening, which is one that I've shown you guys before. It is a M&S one that is really, really nice. So let me show you. So I'm gonna be having some pea noodles, which are super high in protein. I really, really love these. They are so, so nice. I'm gonna have some king prawns in there as well. 
some stir fry veggie and then this sauce on there and let you just whack it all in the pan and see what happens. I love having stuff like this in the fridge that's ready to go because when you're home late and you just want something quick and easy but which is still going to help towards your goals, it's still high protein, it's still just what you need to fuel you then this stuff is literally perfect so love a good stir fry this one in particular is my absolute favorite um so yeah i'm gonna whip this up sit and tuck into that and then finally chill oh my child i know you heard and you can't let go it's not your fault and you don't deserve All the bad and the hurt Right, showered, changed, fresh, in my PJs ready to sit and chill finally. I'm gonna make myself a hot chocolate and also potentially have some chocolate buttons because I'm really craving some chocolate buttons. So I'm gonna sit and have that and watch a bit of Netflix and chill out. This hot chocolate recipe has changed my life a bit. I know that's dramatic, but I've literally been obsessed with it and it's really not a recipe. It is more just me using powder and making hot chocolate, but it is so, so, so good. Let me get it. So this is the one that I have been using. It's a Cadbury Highlights one. It says it's only 38 calories a serving and I make it with boiling water and a tiny, tiny bit of almond milk, tiny bit of unsweetened almond milk, and then put a bit of low fat squirty cream on there, a few marshmallows if you're feeling it. It's gonna change your life that is. So having this, some chocolate buttons, then some Netflix, then some sleep because I am so, so, so tired. Right guys, it is bedtime. I'm super tired. I hope you've enjoyed watching this what I eat in a day. They genuinely are my favourite videos to film. I love showing you guys what I'm eating and what is just going on in general. So let me know if you do like it. Please do hit that like and subscribe button if you did enjoy this video because it helps support my channel and helps let me know that you guys like the videos so I can keep making them. Um, that's about it really. Make sure you come and say hey on Instagram. There's workouts, there's all sorts of stuff over there. So come and say hey there, like, subscribe, you know the drill and I will see you in the next one.